little Sammy Winchester. I'm touched. I mean, your brother's been to see me twice, but you. I never had the pleasure. What can I do for you, Sam? You can beg for your life. We were having such a nice conversation. Then you had to go and ruin the mood. If I were you, I'd drop the wisecracks and start acting scared. It's not my style. It's not the original cult. Why did you get that? Ruby. Pantabe. She is such a pain in my ass. She'll get what's coming to her. You can count on it. That's enough. I came here to make you an offer. You're gonna make me an offer. That's adorable. You can let Dean out of his deal right now. He lives, I live. You stop breathing. Permanently. Oh. <laughs> All this tough talk. I have to tell you, it's not very convincing. I mean, come on, Sam. Do you even want to break the deal? What do you think? I don't know. Aren't you tired of cleaning up Dean's messes? Of dealing with that broken psyche of his? Aren't you tired of being bossed around like a snot-nosed little brother? You're stronger than Dean. You're better than him. Watch your mouth. Admit it. You're here, going through the motions. But truth is, you'll be a tiny bit relieved when he's gone. Sure. No more desperate, sloppy, needy Dean. You can finally be free. I said, shut. Up. Huh. Does protest too much if you ask me. I, I love you, crap. You let Dean out of his deal right now. Sorry, sweetheart, but your brother's an adult. He made that deal of his own free will, fair and square. It's ironclad. Every deal can be broken. Not this one. Fine, then I'll kill you. If you're gone, so's the deal. Guess again. What? Sam, I'm just a saleswoman. I got a boss like everybody. He holds the contract, not me. He wants Dean's soul bad, and believe me, he's not gonna let it go. You're bluffing. Am I? Who holds the contract? He's not as cuddly as me, I can tell you that. Who is it? I can't tell you. I'm sorry, Sam. There's no way out of this one. Not this time. <laughs>